God's children, according to scriptures, are entitled to all round favor. They're entitled to what? Psalm chapter 5, verse 12. It said, Thou will bless the righteous, and with favor you will compass him about as with a shield. Thou will bless the righteous, and with favor you will compass him about as with a shield. And we discover that the currency for marriage, the spiritual currency for marriage is favor. In the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22, he that finds a wife has found a good thing and obtained favor from the Lord. So when favor is present, marital breakthrough is automatic. The favor of God is the secret to marital breakthrough. And by this, I'm not just talking about getting married, but I'm talking about enjoying a glorious marital experience where you not only have favor to get married, but even inside the marriage, you are favored by your husband, you are favored by your wife. There is continuous favor flowing on a day-to-day -day basis. I see that becoming your experience in the name of Jesus. So favor is the key to marital breakthrough. However, we also see that that favor, we found it expensive experienced by the woman called Esther in Esther chapter 2 verse 17 it was through the favor of God upon the life of Esther that her marital destiny was fulfilled for somebody here you are departing here with a mark of favor upon your life and it will bring about the fulfillment of your marital destiny in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so God's children are entitled to favor and favor is the key to marital breakthrough but number two we discover that Prayer is a platform for obtaining favor. The altar of prayer is a platform for obtaining favor. In the book of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, it says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The word grace there means favor. Every time we come in prayer, we gain access to favor. We heard the testimony of God's servant, our father. He said that he stood one day and saw the truth of God's word. Matthew chapter 6, verse, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. And a friend came and said, Brother David, let us pray now for marital partner. He said, no, I will not pray, but let us pray for you. Let us pray for who? That is prayer stewardship. And they stood together in prayer. After the prayer was ended, God answered him first before answering the one that was prayed for. Remember what happened to Job? The Bible said, and Job prayed for his friends and God turned his captivity. Because the altar of prayer is an altar of favor. And the power of favor that is that it delivers things before you are asking for it. When a man is favored, when a woman is favored, God begins to answer the prayer they are still thinking about praying. God begins to respond to the thing they are still planning to ask him. That is before they ask, he begins to deliver it to them. Why? Because they understand the key to this thing. Please hear this. The struggle over every, any marital breakthrough ends in this service today. Yeah. 